Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for checking in today. If you are new here, my name is Katie and I have a fun, crafty, DIY, home decor, a little bit of everything going on here on my channel. Things that I enjoy doing, that's what I like sharing here on my YouTube channel. Today I am participating in a fun challenge with a couple of great co-hosts. Natalie at Design to the Nines, um, as well as Katie at Handy Mom. I'm going to link both of their YouTube channels down in the description box below. This is a fun challenge because it is a girls can use power tools challenge. And when I saw this, I was super excited to play along and share with you guys here on my channel because I had been wanting to do this project for a long time. So today's project is a fairly simple one. We are going to be using the saw, we're gonna be using the Craig jig, we're gonna be using the uh, air nail gun, lots of power tools, and I'm excited to get this done and have this in my house. I have a weird little wall where I want to redecorate and put some floating shelves. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So I have been fortunate enough to have always used power tools. I grew up using them. My parents had a wood shop, they still do. And we have quite a few tools in our garage and I just go out there and use them. I figure it out and use them. However, I had not been using the Craig jig. I had never used it, Greg always used it. And so today was the second time, not the first time, the second time I ever used the Craig jig and I love it and I'll probably use it a lot more and hopefully I can share some more of those fun videos with you guys here on YouTube. But for now, let's head out to the workshop and get started on today's project. Make sure you check out all of the other people who are playing in this challenge, um, especially Natalie and Katie and you'll find out more information on their channels and again thank you guys so much for joining me today so first things first on this funny little wall i measured to see like the width of the wall and how big i wanted the shelves to be and then i also had to measure like space away from the wall because you can see where the patio door swings in i didn't want people running into it i didn't want anyone hitting their head on it but I've had that plant hanging there now for at least a month. And so <clears throat> I knew that nobody had ran into that. So I kind of just figured out spacing. And then I had to go out into the garage and actually figure out how much wood I had. Because I didn't want to go to town and have to buy more wood. So <laughs> I just used up what I had. And now I'm going to have to go to town and buy more wood for the next project. But out in the shop, I'm going to start cutting. I figured out the wood that I'm going to be using um, <clears throat> for the tops and the bottom and then the sides. I'm just using um, one by sixes and then I'm using two by fours for the part, the bracket part that's holding it. So while I'm cutting this wood, I wanted to just tell you guys a funny little story um, about this little wall in our house. So I hadn't ever done anything there because um, I didn't know what to do there. It was just kind of a, like I said, a weird little space. And so when the boys had gone hunting and mounted their um, their antlers, they put them on that wall and it was just kind of how it was. Well, I decided that this is where I wanted to put these floating shelves. And early in December, we had gone to Walmart and I picked up that um, macrame plant hanger. And I put that up there and I thought this would be a perfect wall to put my plants and stuff on. So I'm going to make some floating shelves and figure it out. So I took down the antlers and I put them back in the back bedroom with the rest of my stuff, special stuff, not crap, special stuff. <laughs> and they sat in there for a while. Well, then after Christmas, when I started kind of cleaning out my special stuff, 
I decided, hey, I could put these antlers in the mud room and that would be a cool place for them. They're still displayed, but yet they don't really go with my decor. So, you know, anyway, so I hung them up in the mud room and this had been like at least three weeks after I had hung up that macrame plant hanger and took them down from this weird little wall. And my son came home and he was like, why did you do that? And I said, I did that a long time ago. And he proceeded to argue with me that I was lying to him, that I was just trying to mess with him. And I'm like, you really should pay attention a little bit more. (laughs) So needless to say, after I finished this project, A, he was there and he saw me doing it. But when he came home and I was all finished with it, I took him and I said, I just want you to see this. I want to make sure that you see this project is done so that you don't argue with me that it took me forever or for that you didn't notice it or whatever. So anyway, I just thought that was a funny little story that I shared with you guys. So I cut all of those one by sixes and then I proceeded to cut all of the two by fours and I sanded everything down. Um, I do try to measure, but I should be better about it, but I am just like a good enough girl, okay? Like, just get it done, you know, whatever. So I use sometimes the previous board that I had and lay it over. Anyway, the saw, the saw really scares me, but I'm getting so much better at it. But look at that. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to get my fingers in there. So this probably isn't the safest thing. A, I also know that you probably should wear better safety glasses than just my glasses. I do know this. And I'm sorry that I am not doing that. But don't try this at home. Uh, I don't know. I probably shouldn't even show this in the video. Moving on. (laughs) So this is the Craig jig and it really is a super simple to use. I thought it was way more complicated than this and I'm so glad that Greg showed me how to do it properly. Um, I lost one of the little pieces that holds that little round thing on there on the drill and I'm pretty disgusted because it's messed things up. So on all of my little two by fours I just pre-drilled the holes and then I am just using the special screws from the Craig Jig to screw those in. Now you don't have to have that, but I do think that that helps out a whole heck of a lot more um, to hold those boards together. And there are some times when I'm doing different projects that you really just, I mean, it would just be so much easier if you had the Craig Jig, right? Okay, so now we're going on a little hunt We're going to try and find us a stud. (laughs) I was looking for my stud finder, and of course my family is like, why, you already have me. I'm like, no, come on, help me find the stud finder. And guess what? It was right where it was supposed to be. I had put it back. And I'm just lining it up, measuring to make sure that I have all of the studs marked for my different shelves, and then and making sure that everything is going to be level like I said sometimes I'm kind of just a good enough person but I really wanted these to look good and I wanted them to be level because I know that people are going to check it out when they come to my house so I um, recruited some help and she is going to help me and we are going to um, screw this together and um, attach it to the wall and she is a typical teenager so she was super excited to help me do this and you will see that i can't forget the day we met your eyes so blue me pressing through i can't forget the In a magic way Whenever I see you All I can think is My summer love Been waiting for you My love My summer love Been waiting for you My love I can't forget 
at the day we met You look so fly in your red corvette Your hair, your look, your everything When I see it all I knew that you were mine I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine Okay, so now that we got them all hung up there, I measured, made sure they're all the right distance apart and they're all level. And now I'm just taking my one by sixes and my brad nailer and nailing them on there. And I'm gonna do the same with the bottom portion and then the front and the sides. And I kind of wish now that I would have measured a little bit differently and put the sides on there, but. I really don't care because it does kind of give it a rustic look, but um, anyway, it's super fun. I'm super excited about how it all turned out, and I will finish things up with staining and then styling, and I'm just going to play a little bit more music for you guys so you don't have to listen to me jabber. <laughs> But I also wanted to um, tell you or show you guys or point out how I didn't get stain on the wall. So make sure you watch for that. You have my heart, you have my soul, you have my whole, you have my control. Love me tender, love me sweet, with you I know that I'm complete. I'm in love with the summer's day, for you I'd give my life away. Never leave me, never let me go, my summer love, be waiting for you, my love. My summer love, be waiting for you. I just used um, painter's tape to tape around the box and as much as I could I tried to kind of stick the tape up underneath the boards so that the, it wouldn't get through there. Um, I will link up the stain I used. I, I wanted it to be darker than what it was showing and so I just kind of really saturated it in there. But when I stain, I just use a foam brush and get it in there really good and then use an old rag and wipe it off. Um, so pretty simple and essentially all of these floating shelves are is just kind of a three-sided box that you put on over the brackets that we made I know there's many other ways but I just felt like this way was the simplest way for me to make this um, using the materials that I had and so I hope that you guys enjoyed this today um, I styled it up super cute. Everything that I had here was stuff that I found around my house. I do have my Christmas cactus and um, hopefully I can find some more room to put a few more plants, real plants, <laughs> not the fake ones that I have right now, although that one hanging is real. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it and you'll come back for more. Have a great day.